Hey guys, what's going on with you? Today, I'm going to see if I can cover a quick search on the flatbed market and see what's up with it. I'm currently in Missouri. Let's see here. Let's change this over here to the flatbeds. Let's see, flatbed. Take off that van. Take off that van. Flatbed, um, <clears throat> deck specialized. We want to get them all. Get them all. And we're going to start in. Let's try Dallas. Well, let's get at it. Dallas, Texas. I'm going to still use the same. I'm going to. Flatbed's a little different. Let's go 200 mile deadhead to find a load. Let's check it out, see what's going on right here. Right now, 463 exact loads in the Dallas market. Slide over here to me, for me now. All right, let's see what's on the offering block. Let's see if anybody's got any hot freight they're trying to push. Let's see, wow. Here's an RGN load. Well, let's say it's probably RGN. Let's see what it is. Uh, stretch trailer, 36 foot, 90,000 pound load. That load is going from Jacksboro, Texas to Bakersfield, California. And they're paying a little bitty $16,000, you know, <laughs> $16,000. So if you're in the, the Dallas area and you need a good load and you've got the trailer, there you go. Streamlining Inc. 877-437. 1340. Call them up. Tell them make sense. Make sense sent you. Alright, let's see what else we got on here. Let's see. Tacoma, Washington. That's 20,000 footer. Or pounder. Uh, just a flatbed 48 foot trailer. Not too shabby. Here's another just flatbed load. But the market up that way, it's if you look right here, 4952, that's a 30 day average. Uh, meaning they they hadn't collected enough data to give you a good one, but this one here has got the 15 day average. No, it's still 30 30 day average, but still it's been going for right at five thousand dollars, so not too shabby. California, they're a little underrated on that one, and and I got to throw this in here, this little tool right here. This is the whole reason I'm profitable in what I do, because I can go into any market not know the lanes, not know the, the rates uh, on that preferred lane. With this little tool right here, this little 15 day average, it tells me everything I need to know. So I can go into an, a market that, that I'm not familiar with. And when I call the broker, I've got the trucker's edge. I got the advantage, 15 day average right here. So let's get out of this. Let's clear this box out of the way. Come on, you slow thing. Ah, uh, There's a lot of freight. A lot of freight in the Dallas area. But let's go on around the board here. Let's go up. Let's go over to LA. See what's in LA. I'm guessing not a lot. But I'm usually surprised. 144 loads. I'm surprised. What's on the offering block? Let's see if we can find a long run in there. There you go. There you go. Uh, you can do this on. <laughs> you can do better than that right there on drive in. But that shit goes to show you loan runs don't pay. <laughs> See an example of what I just said a moment ago. Forty two hundred dollars is what they're offering R and R. Um, the load's been going for fifty two forty two on the average. So with that little tool right there, you know what's up. See Canton, Ohio from Barstow. That load, they're about $200 under the average. Atlanta, man, everybody knows the secret. If you're, I don't care if you're dry van, reefer, uh, well, let's exclude reefer out of that. Uh, dry van or flat, you don't get the mileage on the long runs. You get them on the short hops, the three, four, 500 mile hops. Here's an example, like this load right here, the average on it was $5,200. Now that's 2,600 miles, so you're looking at four days hard driving, five days on the average. Um, 
that's putting down some miles every day. That's five, six hundred miles a day. And you're only profiting or grossing about a little over a thousand dollars, like a thousand twenty five, thousand thirty five daily. Or you can get little short hops that runs five, six hundred miles a day and knock out sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred a day. And you can run them daily, drop it off the next morning, grab another load, and keep rolling. And in that same period of five days, let's see, let me get my cap. A handy dandy calculator. Let's say you can do 1650 a load. Now, this is in a perfect world. And you do that Monday through Friday, you're making 8250 versus this one load that's going to take you five days. And it's $3,000 more you're going to make. So, short hops where it's at. All right, let's move on. Let's do, I'm going to do a quick couple of spot checks. I'm not going to elaborate on anything. I'm just going to check out the numbers, show you guys the volume, and then we're going to go to the 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 honey hole of flat bedding. 110 exact loads. So freight looks crappy. The volumes. See out of Washington. Four hundred and twenty eight loads in Seattle. Alright, let's see what they got on the offering block. Oh yeah. There you go, seven thousand dollars to go fourteen hundred miles. Oh that's seventy thousand seven seventy seven thousand pound load, so that's heavy haul. Here's one. Boom 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 plant city floor. I mean that just that's just no money. Now, let's get into the money. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's Chicago, Illinois, two hundred mile radius. All right, showing a thousand fifty three loads. One thousand five three. Not too shabby. Let's see what they got on the offer block. We're probably going to have to scroll down a little bit because it's going to show the long runs up top because you know they're going to have more money on them. Well, here you go. That's heavy haul. This one right here. Heavy haul, 52,000 pounds, 4,200 bucks for 840 miles. Not too. Not too shabby. Now, while I'm doing this, be sure to pause because you, can, you can't take all that in just by scrolling so pause it if you see a load you like I'm just I'm just looking for a certain load like here's what I said a minute ago Butler Indiana Wilkes Bar PA $1,700 that's just a standard black bed load 40,000 pounds and that load's been offering for 15 day average has been 1632 so that's what I was saying a second ago that's a 500 mile run you can pick it up today deliver it first thing in the morning and Knock sixteen hundred dollars on this load, for example, seventeen hundred dollars by the next morning. Pick up another load and just repeat it. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Here's another one, Wichita, Kansas, six hundred miles. Six hundred miles, sixteen seventy-five. Five hundred mile that runs, fifteen fifty, sixteen hundred. All right, let's scroll, scroll back up. Oh, we done went down too far. Here's one, probably Springfield, Illinois, where I'm at right now. It's 49,000. But that loads 400 miles, and it's been going for, ah, that ain't what we're looking for, nope. Abort ship, abort ship. That's not what we're looking for. Evansville, Minnesota. There's what we're looking for. 1541. 500 miles. You pick up today, drop off today, or first thing in the morning. Make $1,500. And at 500 miles, you're going to spend what? $200, $250 in fuel? So overnight, you're going to you're gonna net after fuel 1200 $1,300. Bucks. 
That's where the money's at. Same with flatbed. Same with with reefer. Same with drive in. All right, let's get out of there. Let's go over to. Let's check out Wilkes Bar. Double. I don't know how to spell that. W W I L K E S. I'm spelling it wrong. There we go. Let's check out P A and Wilkes Barry. They've got 560 loads. Hurry up. Hurry up, Offering Block. Show me what's up. Not too shabby. Now, curiosity. I want to see what Pittsburgh's got. And then we're going to come south to the motherland of Flatbed. I didn't notice that, but I'm looking at all loads for tomorrow. <laughs> so let's update this. So the rest of the loads that I've done prior to this one, the numbers were a little off. I'm not going to go back. So we're just going to do this from here on 11-1. Happy November, everybody. And it's a little late in the evening. It's uh, our afternoon. It's 3 o'clock, so... That's going to push those loads up. Oh, yeah, 1770. 1770 for the Pittsburgh area. <coughs> now, there's your load 200 or 290 miles for 4,500. It's 28 in length, 29,000 pounds. Let's see what that load is. It might be oversized. The dimensions is 240 by 177 by 152. The weight is 28,000 pounds. I would say that's a big ass uh, 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 pop. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, anyway, uh, you, oh man, I can't even think of the word for it. Well, it says it's a turbine, so there, there it is in a commodity. Here I am trying to make up shit. But you need a double drop for that one. It's not heavy haul, it is oversized. But 290 miles for $4,500? Yep. Screw heavy haul. Give me some oversize. All right, pushing forward. Let's go on out. And let me, let me back up a little bit. Let me go back and check out Seattle real quick. Then I'm going to check Cali real quick. Then I'm going to come back to the south. All right. Seattle's got 1,100 loads. So I was wrong earlier. That's a lot of freight. That's a lot of a lot of flatbed. Let's check out L.A. They have got 317 exact loads, which is a lot better than they showed a moment ago for tomorrow. Snatch up today's load, too, and, and more than double it. All righty, let's go on down to Knaxville. Knaxville, Knoxville, Tennessee. Four hundred seventy-five loads in Knoxville, two hundred mile radius. Let's see here. Let's go to Little Rock, Arkansas. Two thousand two hundred eighty loads in Arkansas. Two hundred mile radius of. Little Rock. I was just talking to my my broker over at Coyote, and uh, he don't mess with a lot of van freight, but he he works with me, 
and uh, most of his forte is the open platform market and I was just talking to him I was like he's like asked me what I was doing I said I about to put together a video on YouTube you know blase blase yada 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 and uh, I said I can't wait to get this van paid for because I'm gonna buy a drop deck or uh, more than likely um, what the hell am I doing here okay more than likely a, a, a low pro step deck with 17.5 tires or wheels possibly a third axle uh, if I can get that at a decent price and he said well he said yeah the only thing about it is seasonal I said well bro that's why I'm gonna keep my drive van I said I'm gonna keep my drive van and I'm gonna have me a a drop deck where are we going here I'm losing train of thought let's check out Birmingham Alabama Birmingham usually has a lot and they still yet to disappoint with 1,972 loads in the Birmingham area of 200 mile radius. Yep, yep, yep. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's check out what I've normally been seeing as the motherland, Atlanta. I don't know, Alabama. Birmingham was pulling up Atlanta loads too. Likewise with Alabama or Atlanta. A 200 mile radius is picking up a lot of the same stuff, but nonetheless, the South is king when it comes to flatbed. Atlanta showing 12.55. Well, Birmingham's king. Wait, no, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is king. I think they had 2,200 loads or a little. Ah, shit! I'm losing. I'm losing. Uh, losing where I'm coming. Damn, eight thousand dollars for 700 miles. 111,000 pounds. Let's see what you need on that tr that load right there. Okay, it's Greenville, South Carolina, down to Dania, Darnia. Anyway, it's going to Florida. A removable gooseneck. It's an RGN. 40 foot in length, 111,000 pounds. It's an excavator. The dimensions are 40 wide, 12 high, 12 long. You know, I mean, that's the thing about an RGN. Mr. Tim Gorey, life is good. If you're watching, you're absolutely right, man. Um, if you get back in the game, you need an RGN because we're right down the road from uh, Komatsu. And yes, sir, we can service Komatsu's. And do stuff like this. Run one load a month and come home. Come on. Talk about semi-retired. What else we got? Again, I'm envious. I need me an open platform. All right, guys. What? What? Where? Where else could I look? Uh, let's just let's go to Kansas City. Ooh, eighteen minutes. I got to get off here. I'm holding you guys up too long. Five hundred total loads in Kansas City. Let's shoot up towards. Let's go way northeast. Four hundred seventy-four loads in Hartford, Connecticut. I mean, flatbed, flatbed, flatbed is where it's at. Flatbed is where it's at. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. If you like what I'm showing you here in the description, you will find a link that lets you try this out for free for thirty days. Free is free and don't haul cheap. With this little tool that I'm showing you here, no matter what market you're in, you'll always know what's up when you're talking to a broker. It will give you the trucker's edge. To the next video. See you. Bye.